Unlimited drinks. Unlimited speciality dining. One, two, three, one. The best Wi-Fi. Unlimited. That's got to be a good thing, hasn't it? In the past 24 hours, news has reached the 4Bs HQ that Princess Cruises is increasing its offerings on the Premier package. But also, it's increasing the price to $90 per day per person on board. Unlimited drinks and unlimited speciality dining, that's got to be a great thing. And it's got to be worth that extra $10. Well, in a second, I'll tell you why it might not be as it seems. So let's cover what is on offer at the moment. So when you're booking a Princess Cruise, you get to either choose the standard. The standard is basically your MDR, your buffet on board, your passage on the ship, your cabin, etc. It's your basics. If you then head up to the plus package, which is $60 per day, then you do get your casual dining venues, you get your two of the speciality desserts, you get your gratuities included, you get other offerings, which we'll cover to the side of me just here. You can also then upgrade even further to the premier package. And that included various options, again, which will pop to the side here. And it used to be that it was two speciality dining per cruise, per person, also used to be up to 15 drinks per day. Exciting, yes. And we covered it in a video, you'll see a link to it at the end and in the corner, where we actually think the Premier package is pretty good, it gives you peace of mind, and the offerings were good for the money that you did spend on the package. But now, just announced in the past 24 hours, they are increasing these offerings. So now you get unlimited drinks. It's not capped at 15 per day. You also get unlimited, wow, this has got to be good, speciality meals on board. And they are offering a new faster Wi-Fi on board. Great, all for $10 extra. If you are from the UK like myself, it's gonna stay at 65 pounds per person per day, but you don't get the unlimited speciality restaurants, but you do get the unlimited drinks. So there we go, so it's staying the same in the UK. Take a look to the side of me now. This is when it will be rolled out. Each ship is listed and the date where it will start. If you've already got the premier package booked in for your cruise in the future, do not worry, you don't have to do anything unless you want to upgrade to the new offerings. So, for example, if you've got the premium package and you do nothing, then you'll still get the drinks up to 15 per day. You'll also get two speciality meals per day. That is all sorted. You do not have to do anything. If you want the unlimited drinks, you want the new Wi-Fi, and you also want the unlimited speciality restaurants, then you need to contact your travel agent or contact Princess to have the upgrade and you just pay the difference, the $10 per day. That's if you've already got an existing booking and you are going on a cruise after these dates by the side of it. Now, what are my thoughts on this? On the face of it, yes, it sounds great. You get unlimited meals, you get unlimited drinks. First of all, covering the drinks. Now, for me, and I imagine a lot of you, 15 drinks per day is a lot, especially if your cruise has lots of ports of call. Cool. Are you really going to be drinking more than 15 drinks? Maybe some of you watching this will do, especially on a sea day. But I can tell you, somebody in Princess HQ has taken a look at this and they would have only done it on the basis that most people won't be going over that 15 limit. So it's just a headline grabber to get you in. Somebody's been doing those numbers and taking a look, and I would say the majority don't go over that 15 drink limit. Maybe on a transatlantic, maybe on a cruise that's got lots of sea days, but in general, most people will not be taking advantage of those over 15 drinks per day. Before we carry on with the video, just a quick reminder, if you enjoyed this content, please give it a like, 
And if you enjoy cruise content, it's completely free. Hit that subscribe button. We have plenty of cruise content on the channel from Princess, Cunard, Royal Caribbean, and so much more to come in 2024 and 2025. From the four Bs, thank you. On to the speciality meals. Great. Who would not want to be eating speciality meals every night of your cruise? Well, for me, no, actually. First of all, you're gonna find it very, very hard to get bookings unless they increase the hours, unless they increase the staffing levels. When we went on Sun Princess earlier this year, by the time we got on board, you couldn't book any of the speciality restaurants except for Hot Pot on board. All the rest were booked out. Three months before, lots of reporting on Facebook, all of the restaurants are getting booked out. If you add in that it's unlimited, that situation is only going to get worse. So yes, on the face of it, it's unlimited, but will you be able to get a booking? Also for me, there's loads of other great offerings on board. I love the MDR on board Princess. You've got your casual dining venues on board, which are of a good quality. And some nights you just want to be relaxed and you just want to head to the buffet without a booking. Speciality restaurants to me are something that's a special occasion. Something you get dressed up, but it's a whole evening to me. It's it's a couple of hours, two to three hours. It's it's something that is a special evening on board. I, for one, wouldn't want it every single night. So once again, is it just a headline grabber? The third new offering is the new enhanced Wi-Fi. While on board, we found the Wi-Fi to be excellent. I even uploaded a YouTube video. And if you want to do things like download videos, etc. There is a great entertainment system on the TV in the cabin. So we don't really think this will be worth it. Will they be worth it for you? For me, it wouldn't. And I don't think it's gonna be worth that $10 per day, especially for a family of four. That is a massive increase, up to $280 increase on your cruise fare if you are upgrading now to the premier package that's per week so that is a lot of cash please let us know what you think in the comments below but that is the news coming from princess cruises that very very shortly they will be adding another ten dollars per person per day to your cruise fare what do you go with do you go for plus do you go for premium you want to do it your own way and pay as you go let us know in the comments below what you think and click on the screen right now if you would like your full guide to Standard Plus and Premier on Princess Cruises.